What is going on everyone? It's Brody again, back to answer one of the questions that tends to that tends to come up. It's pretty kind of like a basic answer, but it is still something that people do want to know and it is what are the four major types of tennis court surfaces? And yes, I said four. You can probably name three, but there originally were four. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, with a lot of the major tournaments, a lot of them are going to be played on the main three. You got hard courts, clay courts, and grass courts. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times, it just depends on where you're at, where where the tournament is at. They can determine which which court they prefer and what court they want the tournament to be played on. Usually here in North America, you're looking at clay court. You're looking at hard courts. My mistake. And tip. And then outside of, outside North America, there are some hard courts, not as many. There is the major, Austra the Australian Open. That one is one of the four biggest tournaments in the entire tennis world. That one is played on hard courts, as well as the one of the major tournaments, the U.S. Open here in here in the United States. That one is also played on hard courts. So, two out of the four major tournaments in in the entire world for tennis, they're played on hard courts. That's just, that's just how it ended up being. And then of course you have the two other major tournaments in the world. You have the French Open, which is, which is played on clay courts. And then you of course have the one that everyone knows is Wimbledon. And Wimbledon, as you probably can guess, it's on grass court. Though grass courts I'd say are probably the least common that you'll find because you really don't see many here in the U.S. while there is a grass courts tournament as well as in North America in general because of how, or just anywhere else because of how hard it is to maintain a grass court overall. Like, if you can think of people trying to maintain a golf green, it's kind of like that, but I think there's a little bit more that goes into it. I'm not a full expert on grass court maintenance because I've never played on a grass court or and I've never maintained one but it's a lot from everything I've seen and read about from officials and just people who maintain it there's a lot that goes into Wimbledon and everything else now clay courts on the other hand those ones you'll are probably I'd say maybe the most common type of court that you'll find throughout the entirety of all of the tennis world just because while it may not be as popular here in the United States, everywhere else has a high chance of finding a clay court, especially throughout Europe and everywhere. That's kind of their main court that they will use. So I'd say clay courts are maybe one of the more popular, if not the most popular court throughout the entire tennis community and the entire tennis world. Now, I'm not saying that is a knock to hard courts or grass courts, that's just what it seems to be from my perspective. If I'm wrong, let me know what you think down in the comments below and just so that I can actually see what's going on and be like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure clay courts take it with most places outside the US and everywhere having at least a couple of clay courts around. Now with all that, like I said, there are technically four surfaces. We've covered grass courts, clay courts, and hard courts. The other one, not many people remember, but if you've been following tennis for many, dec for many decades, they had originally done away with this type of, of court surface, but it still was a pretty prevalent court in its heyday, and that is carpet courts. I know, weird, right? If you're playing tennis on carpet, you feel like, how does that even work? And it's a whole slew of things that goes on with it. The shoes for a carpet court that I've seen, I've seen one pair in my entire life. The shoe, let me see, do I have a, no, I don't have a tennis shoe next to me, but the tread on the shoe is just flat. Like there's nothing there. It is slick, it's bare, there's nothing. Like. Your normal tennis shoe, it has maybe a design or a herringbone pattern to either cut through the clay or just make it so that it works better on the court that you're using or dots for, gra for a grass court, almost like a golf shoe. But no, clay carpet courts, 
nothing. Slick, nothing. It's weird. I don't know how they did it. I've never played on a, on a carpet court. I almost bought the shoes to do so, but I ended up not doing because it's like, I am never going to actually play on this. And if I use these on any other service, I'm going to hurt myself. So didn't get the shoes, but yes, carpet court is an act is and was an actual official tennis tournament legal court on the men's circuit. And I believe on the women's circuit as well. So with that, that's essentially the four major types of tennis courts that have been and are and may still be continuing, mainly talking about carpet court right there, that are still going with today's game of tennis. If you got any value from this video, leave, leave a thumbs up and a comment below to, act, to ask any more questions you may have, as well as share this video with a friend if you found something valuable and you think they might also as well. It's my job here to make sure that all the misinformation in tennis gets corrected because there's a lot of information out there that people who don't know what they're talking about are trying to tell you. And it's and I took it upon myself to get the correct information out to those who do truly need it. So, like I said, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you got any value from this, and as always, take care.